Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Biology and of course on today's episode we are going to continue our study on the classes of the vertebrates that we have. In the last episode we looked at the pieces. If you have not watched that episode please go back and watch it before seeing this one. All right. Today we are talking about the amphibians, a special class called what the amphibians. All right. They are the first first world vertebrates to live on the land as you can see but there are those group of uh, vertebrates that have the ability, they possess the ability, possess the capability to live on both land and water. And that's how we call them amphibians. They live on both land and what and water. All right. So examples are, of course, you know, toads, you know, frogs, all right, you know, newts. You may not know newts, okay, but it's been shown on the screen right now. Newts, all right, we have toads, we have frogs, we have newts. These are all examples of what of amphibians. For those of you who stay close to riverine areas, all right, you hear some noises in the night. Very, very, very annoying noises. Those that stay close to the river nine areas, or maybe you have a river close to your house, all right? You will only have uh, frogs there, or you have what uh, toads there, okay? Those noises are generated from them. The male toads and the male frogs, they're the ones that generate those noises. This is what they are vocal sacs. They have a, they have a vo vocal sac that what, that produces what sound, that produces what sound. And those sound are usually what for mating, Purposes of advertisement for meeting. All right, so the one do so because of that, they what they use to that vocal sack to what to amplify their what their, their, their voices. All right, it's usually for meeting calls or for advertisement for what for meeting. All right, so now uh, enough about that. They include, of course, the toads, the frogs, and the newts, as you have seen. And some of their characteristics is that they are ectothermic organisms. They are ectothermic organisms, and by ectothermic, it means they are what? Another name for that is what is cold blooded. They are cold or blooded. That means they do not have the ability to what to generate enough internal heat to what to, to, to balance their water temperature. All right, they can they do not have the ability to what to, to generate enough internal heat to what to uh, uh, to balance their what their body temperature. All right, so they are what they are ectothermic, they are what they are cold blooded. They are cold blooded. They are cold blooded. Now, they possess a, a moist and scaleless skin. They don't have scales, all right? They possess what moist and what and scale, like the frog, most especially. It is very, very moist. Sometimes you see the frog, you see the body. You, you don't even want to touch it. It's very, very irritating to touch a frog. Right? If, 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 in fact, if I see you now touching frog, I will run away from you. Their body are so moist and they see we, just the way their body is. All right? They do not have scales anyway. They are moist. Uh, uh, they are, uh, their body are moist and they have what is scaleless or skin. Then also, they possess three chambered what, hearts. Three chambered hearts. Take note of that. Two oracles and an undivided ventricle, all right? That is what the, uh, the heart structure. Two three-chambered heart, two auricles, and what? An undivided what? Ventricle. Now, I want to quickly take a look at a typical amphibian, which is the toad. A toad is a typical what? Amphibian, all right? Know that this tutorial is brought to you by the O3 School Jamba app. All you need to succeed in your exam. The app has all the past questions you need to study. It has all the wonderful feature designed to make you perform better like the classroom feature that contains all the notes for all subjects all right and of course you're able to want to take notes under what those what are uh, subjects using what the jam syllabus as a guide so we use what the jam syllabus got to structure what the classroom feature for you to be able to study then we have the question search feature where you can search for question using topic and the question that jamba said under that topic will come out for you to answer we have the utme challenge a challenge that will conduct for all that are all participating in jam for this year you want to participate in that challenge with your mates you win amazing prizes every week it's a mock challenge you win amazing prizes every week apart from winning prizes you get used to what our jam said that question you see your result released every week and so that will work build your preparation towards what the main exam and then your confidence what keeps what building all right so please download the app as I'm speaking to you now, activation is just 3,000 Naira. So download the app, click on activate after you have downloaded it from Play Store. And then at the top, you see where the road buy activation key. You see three options for payment, 
Use anyone to what to pay and get you get what activated. You can use an ATM card to pay online. That one's automatic activation. Or you can what transfer to the OTD Schools app account. When you once you transfer, know that what you have to send the receipts to this number on WhatsApp 091215152461. Once you send the receipt to this number on WhatsApp, our customer care representative will what we attend to you and manually activate your app for you. So it is not scam. It is not scam. There's nothing to be scared of. All right. So now the toad is a typical amphibian. It's a typical amphibian. The body of a toad consists of a head and trunk only. Consists of a head and trunk only. On top of the head, right? As so you are seeing one right now, are two nose rays. Are two nose rays. And just behind are two prominent eyes. Okay? So the toad consists of a head and a trunk only. On top of the head are two nose rays. On top of the head of what? Of the uh, of the toad, okay, and just behind are two prominent eyes. All right, a thin transparent fold of skin which can be drawn over the eyeball, known as the nictitating what membrane. This nictitating membrane is what protects the eyes of the toad, right, as it moves what inside what inside the water, protects it from what from mud. It prevents more from entering the eye. It prevents or water from water also what entering the eye of the water of the toad. All right, so that I can navigate what properly. All right, so they also have the ability to change color. They can camouflage. Okay, they can camouflage, and the patchiness of what of the toad skin enable it to camouflage itself by blending with its surroundings. So it can easily what blend with what with its what surrounding. As most amphibians do, right? They can what they can camouflage. They can blend with what with the what with the color or or with the what with the uh with the um, whatever 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 the environment is right they can actually what blend well with that color or right? i bet you know that what most toads right they are what they are mostly what brownish in color okay they are mostly brownish in color right? but they have the ability to what to camouflage all right now also it is important to know that what uh like i told you before that what that a male toad and what and a female what i uh, sorry a male toad and a male frog rather have what vocal sacs they have vocal sacs that's why you hear those noises during the night those vocal sacs with what for mating and what an advertisement will call they have those vocal sacs have what sound producing what uh uh they are sound producing sacs that amplify what their voice that amplify their voice for mating and what an advertisement all right so now i'm going to see difference between what a toad and what and a frog all right let me see some differences between a toad and a frog and then uh we will round up with this class all right know that what this uh you have to what like this video if you have not liked this video what you are doing is very wrong like this video liking this video will make other students easily find this video and join in the class all right why also make sure that what you subscribe to this channel subscription is free completely free so we have frog here and then here we have a toad okay like i told you the skin of the world or the frog is what is moist is what is is always what moist okay but that of the toad is always what is dry is watty okay so you can see the skin the skin of the frog okay let's say the skin is moist and smooth and smooth okay why that of the toad is what is dry right is dry watty and rough uh, the skin is dry watty and rough okay so this is one of the differences between what a frog and a toad right the skin of the frog is very smooth all right it's smooth and apart from being smooth it is always what moist all right but the skin of the toad is what is dry is watty and it is rough all right then also they have long and powerful jumping legs the frogs have long possess long and powerful jumping legs okay but for the toad the toad only what hops it does not jump it does not jump like the frog from one place to another okay the, the toad always what it's it hops hopping h-o-p-p-i-n-g it hops all right it does not what jump like what like the frog so it does not have a long legs like what like the frog or what, for jumping all right so say that what well, they have shorter legs for walking or hopping have shorter leg for hopping 
or walking. Okay, so also frogs have what, what to call webbed feet. Webbed feet. Okay, that feet is what is like a web. All right, so that enables the world to 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 move faster. All right, so but the uh, most tools do not have a web feet. Most of them do not have web feet at all. All right, they have they don't they don't they don't have parts. All right, so uh, let's look at uh, uh, frogs. Frogs they possess what possess a webbed feet. Okay, that feet is like what structure like a web. Okay, but toads they do not what they do not do not have webbed feet. I have webbed feet or parts. Okay, and don't have what parts. All right, so that's the difference. Are the differences between a frog and a toad? So, in case you see a question that has a border on differences between uh, a toad and a frog, and for in fact, for many of you that what they have confusing them. Ah, if you see a toad, you'll not be able to differentiate it from a frog. Okay, <laughs> so this is for you. All right, so uh, like I said, the frogs they have that smooth. They are smooth and moist. Those ones that are dry, they are rough, they are worthy. Like we said, these ones, they have powerful jumping legs. This one, they have what legs just for what for, for hopping and for walking. Okay, they have very shorter legs. Then, of course, this one possess what a web feet. This one, they do not have what web feet or parts. All right, so this is where we are going to what end this class. In the next class, I'm going to look at the last class of what of, um, of uh, the vertebrates. I'm going to look at the mammas. And then we'll look at the what they have together. All right. And then we'll be done. Okay, there's a rep, there's reptilia actually. So maybe we'll have two classes before the end, or we'll just have one just because of time's sake. All right. So I would love to see you in that episode. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel.